Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to USFP's short video series on GRE course. These videos will help you prepare for the GRE exam, which is essential to graduate level admission in most universities in the US and for the Fulbright scholarship program. This session will be on data analysis. This is video number eight in the series. So let's begin. So this is a typical question in a GRE exam. So data analysis question would have some data. So how do you start attempting this question? The first thing is you, if you read the legend, the top, uh, the top um, of this uh, graph, percent of population in England by state in year X and year Y. So it is percentage of population in New England in state X and Y. So state X is given. Then you, after seeing the legend, which is the topmost, you see the axis. So it says Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. And on the Y axis, it is the there's nothing written over here, but we know it's percent. So it's 50 percent, 40 percent. Year X is labeled in dark color and year Y is in little gray color. So once reading everything, the total population 15 million in year X and 25 million. In. If the six New England states are ranked in year X and year Y, how many states would have different ranking from year X to year Y? So if they are ranked in terms of population, what would be the new ranking? Pause this video and try to solve this question. So in year X, if you do the ranking of population, the highest mess was in Massachusetts. So let's write for Massachusetts, it had the highest population and then came Connecticut, and then um, came Maine, let's write Maine as M-A, after Maine it is Rhode Island, and then New Hampshire, and after that it is Vermont. So this is the ranking Massachusetts as the highest. Now in year Y, the highest was still with Massachusetts, so its ranking did not change. Then is Connecticut, okay, its ranking also did not change. And on the third is, um, it is Rhode Island. So it is Rhode Island. After Rhode Island it is New Hampshire. And uh, after New Hampshire, it is Maine. And in the end, it is Vermont. So Massachusetts ranking did not change, Connecticut did not change, Vermont. Vermont did not change. So what changed? The ranking of three states changed. So the correct answer is three. So typically in a data analysis question, it would have three uh, questions. So make sure that you absorb the graph, you completely understand what the graph says. Now, in the next part, in year X, the population of Massachusetts was approximately what percent of the population of Vermont? So Massachusetts, prof population in year X was 40% uh, and what percentage was of Vermont? So Vermont population was in year X was 5% if you look, look, look at here. So it was 5%. So 40 divided by 5 into 100 equals 
800%. So typically, the graphs are very easy to read and it's very easy to approximate. So we were able to approximate, so this was exactly 5. So the next part, typically the last part is the most difficult. So the last part is by approximately how much did the population of Rhode Island increase from year X to year Y? What was the increase of population of Rhode X, uh, percentage increase? So in, in year X, the uh, Rhode Island population was, was 10%. 10% of what? 15 million. So 10% of the 15 million is the population. And in year Y, it increased. So the increase is now it's 15%. So 15% of what? 25 million. So Um, so, so we need to solve this. So this is the increase and we need to find it in terms of percentage of the, the it increases. So in year X it was 15 over 100 into 10. So we need to solve this to find the percentage. Sorry, we don't have to find the percentage. We just have to find the increase. So pardon this. So we just have to find the increase. So we just have to find this first. We need to find the answer to this. Well, so 15 into 25 over 100 minus 10 into 15 over 100. So 100, taking 100 is common. So 15 multiplied by 25 minus 10 into 15. So this is minus 150. If you have to multiply this. So 10 plus 5 into 25, so this is 250 plus 125, what is 100, so 325 minus 150. So this is, um, sorry, 375, 370 minus, 375 minus 150 over 100, so 375 minus 150 comes out to be 225 over 100, so this is two, this comes out to be 2.25 answer is 2.25 million all of this all of this calculation was in million so we have this answer 2.25 so 2.25 million so that is this option so uh, i so we had to simplify this equation so i tried to avoid the use of calculator by decomposing so 15 can be divided is can be split into 10 plus 5 so 10 plus 5 into 25 so this by doing this by doing this we have avoided the use of calculator so calculator on a GRE calc on a GRE test is very it's just like the calculator in our uh, computer on our computer like we hardly use it and it's not easy to do it, use it faster. 
so it is better that you avoid use the calculator till the final answer the next question so the next question is of a data analysis below shows the graph for normal distribution with a mean of m and a standard deviation of d including approximate percent of distribution corresponding to the six regions shown so this is a typical third normal distribution a normal distribution has a mean m and 50% of the data is above the mean and 50% is below the mean so 34 plus 14 plus 2 is 50% so and rest distribution so d is the standard deviation the 68% of the data is within plus minus one standard deviation 68% means that bulk of the data is closer to the mean mean plus two standard deviation greater than that only two percent of the data lies in that region it's very important to remember this shape of the distribution and the split throughout that 34 percent is within plus one standard deviation 14 percent is between one standard deviation and two standard deviation and two percent of data is above okay now coming to the question Suppose the height of the population is 3,000 adult penguins are approximately having a mean of 65 centimeter and a standard deviation of 5 centimeter. The mean is 65. So 65 is this M and the standard deviation is 5 centimeter, which means this M plus D is 70, M plus 2D is 75, M minus D is 60 m minus 2d is 55 so approximately how many penguins are between 65 and 75 between 65 and 75 are 34 plus 14 so 48 percent of the penguins are between them so we need to find approximately how many so we need to find the number so 48 percent of 3,000 penguins. So 3,000 penguins. So we need to find approximately. So if this was 50, we can find it act accurately. Actually, so so 50 minus 2 into 30. So 50 into 1300 is uh, 1500 minus 60. It is 1440. Okay. So see again, we can split the numbers for faster calculation. Okay, next part B. If an adult penguin is chosen at random from population, approximately what is the probability that the penguin's height will be less than 60 centimeters? Give your answer to the nearest 0 0.05. What is the probability that the height is less than 60 centimeters so 60 centimeter is basically this place what is the probability that the it is less than this so basically 2% plus 16% 2% plus 16% 16% are the chances that the height is less than Uh, is less than 60 centimeter so we need to give answers to the nearest 0 0.05 so we need to uh, give answers in decimals 16 percent equals 0 0.16 this is the probability But we need to give the answers to the nearest 0 0.05. So the answer is 0 0.15 is the answer to this question. So I hope this session proved to be useful for you. Please remember to check out other videos in the series. Thank you all. Take care.